hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl patsy sparkles and i'm back at it again today with a new video straight from the uk so guys today is going to be my first time at an african shop in the uk i need to get some pepper and you know like i can only probably find it here so let's see how it goes so there is an african shop not too far from me actually and funny thing it's like 23 minutes walk but i wanted to use the bus and today is saturday and the bus is not available starts so on like no bus is flying the route but anyways i decided to walk because i quickly had plenty pizza yesterday night so let me just walk it off so let's go <music> after working for about 23 minutes i finally got to the african store and guys this place really felt like home to be honest i felt like i was in my mom's shop i was seeing maggie cube maggie no time i was seeing orobo pin like it was just really amazing so i'm just going to check around and see what i can get So I was thinking I would not find Milo here. She will, definitely. You got Milo, you got people, you got even things you don't expect. Yeah. You got a robo. So eventually i bought pepe this gentleman here recommended uh the smoked turkey to me which was really nice i'm gonna show you guys all i bought when i get home and also i bought this bread ninja style bread it was so good to so see so i got what i could buy from there but i still need spaghetti so i'm going to try and find another stop if i can get and uh, tomatoes here on my way to the african store i saw this international food center and it was actually entering my eyes so when i was done at the african store i decided to go back there to see if i can get other things that i needed guys i was surprised at the quantity of things that i could find here especially like in food stuff there are some nigerian things maybe like brand that you will probably not get but foodstuffs like yam potatoes and also i was able to buy my spaghetti here even though it's not the nigerian horn which you can get obviously in african shops or nigerian shops but i was just walking through this uh, store and it was really really big there are a lot of options a lot of african food here too so i'm sitting at a bus stop next to home so i've been crying this thing for the past 20 minutes oh my god let's say like 18 minutes it's like dragging tobacco bag and be walking i have to sit down for a bit because if i continue going my hand is gonna cut i should be home in like maybe five minutes or six minutes but i need to rest a bit let me explain to you what i got so the first thing was uh, at the um at the what's it called at the at the uh, uh, african restaurant i think it's even nigerian the abi babs i got some things but i saw that they didn't have tomatoes and that's because probably tomato is like everywhere tesco's like every little stores around your house you probably see tomatoes so i just decided to stop at that first Af um, international food store if i actually stopped there first gone there was actually a lot of things too but you might not see magino and all that but they had a lot of african food there is even yam also there so then that's why i branched there so i was able to buy fruit because i didn't get fruit at the african store but that african store has a lot of nigerian things kilishi kokoro 
all those you know things that you probably miss it's there so guys let me rest a bit then i'll walk up and when i get home i'll show you everything i bought okay so i'm finally rested let's go home guys i'm back home ah this today is the first time i actually sweat and uh, not like sweat sweat but i knew that there was ah with that working hey when i go walk up a jacket and then i had to rest a bit because i was tired from carrying this thing is actually and if i have scale this will be like maybe five five pounds or five kg i mean with the same pound so after my receipt so see oh there's something i'm supposed to guys hold on let me get the receipt so i can tell you how much i paid even though they didn't give me the list of what i bought and wow how much it is but the total receipt let me get it this is better so i actually bought at two places the 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 african store the abibaba's store i spent 20 pounds 25 pence and then for the other one i spent 10 pounds 68 pence so let me show you guys what i got for 20 pounds 25 pence so yeah this is for the african shop so this is for the african shop so the first thing i got this bread so the british bread you know sometimes except like the ones that have chocolate like this one this is like our favorite bread <laughs> This bon appetit. Who does it? Self? Is it made in yeah. bon appetit? It looks like a French bakery. Oh, okay. It's Aldi. You, only, you can only get this type in Aldi. It's like our favorite bread, which is really nice. The other one was like this. If we buy it, we can't eat it. <laughs> Especially BJ. I remember BJ bought like three breads and it put them away. They don't have taste. <laughs> so I finally brought like this. African bread, this Nigerian bread, like sliced bread. So I don't know the price, there was no price tag on it. But tatashi pepper, this pepper you can actually get in like your regular stores too. In um, especially Audi, Sainsbury's, even some uh, off license shops. Eh? Guys, me too, I know the terms. If you are not in UK, you can't know the meaning of off like okay, I don't know if they have it in other countries. Off license shop, corner stores, you can still get things like pepper. And then I got this ugu. This ugu is so funny because look at the way it is frozen. It's blocked. I'm like, so they said do not freeze after the frozen. Wow. So that means you have to use it once. Interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna use this, so I'm just gonna pop it in the freezer first of all. Then I bought a tarot. This rollo in an internet. So this you know, scotch bonnet. You don't get it in uh, all these uh, shopping stores, in these stores or shopping center. You only get it in African shop and all these uh, you know maybe Turkish Asian shops here yeah, you can get scotch bonnet so this one too just gonna pop it right into in the fridge and I got it built in there. This one too you can get it at the at most stores you know but their own are not always hot so I'm hoping this one will be hot then I got no magic like I didn't see it in Tesco, Sainsbury, Aldi, all those places. No, I have to. I bought from Nigeria, but it's gonna finish soon. And things like Maggi, or like here, that like you have to like walk to store. You know, in Nigeria, you probably have it. Someone in your area is selling. Finally, I bought this smoked turkey, and I'm sure this is like the most expensive thing out of it. Because I've not had turkey since I've been here. I've had chicken, I've had oxtail, I've actually bought their meal, I've bought their lamb meat. So this is smoked turkey. And that's all that I got for twenty pound twenty five pence. How much is pound in Nigeria now? So I'm thinking ten pounds would be around. Um, ten pounds would be around uh, the pounds to naira is like seven fifty something. So that's like fifteen thousand. What? Jesus Christ! Interesting. 
Those are expensive here. Fifteen thousand. That's all I got. Whoa. Come to think of it, that's expensive. Wow. So from the other store, I bought this and I bought hackles. Bought spinach. I'm just gonna put this inside the nylon and put it in the fridge and just make a hole inside of it. Yeah. I got tomatoes. Tomatoes too, you can get it in most of the stores. So they sell small, small tomatoes here, yeah. <laughs> very small. So this big tomato. I didn't actually see tomato in the the African store because I probably probably know that you know it's always available everywhere. So I've been wanting spaghetti because I didn't use spaghetti from Nigeria because someone was like, oh, you always get spaghetti here and it is cheap. So I don't know how much they do so because I just had it before. I knew it was more up to like, maybe like one pound fifty or something. Then this pasta also. I got this thing. Plantain. So I think it's always three for one pound. And I got six. So that's everything I got for 30 pounds. 30 pounds. That's like 31 pounds actually. Wow. It's a lot of money for like 21,000. Can this soup reach me? How many days do I see all these things? Maybe weeks, sure. So guys, this is the end of my <laughs> African store experience vlog and how much food stuff cost here. Maybe I'll keep doing more depending on when I buy stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace guys.